The legal notice number 104 and any subsequent notice issued by the CS Agriculture to be declared unlawful since it was not subjected to public participation and not approved by the National Assembly and the Senate. So I would say that uh, I have received the petition. I'm going to be taking it to Parliament. And uh, my desire, um, politely to the Minister, and even to the bodies that have been entrusted to make sure that our coffee farmers are happy, I don't think we need to do the back and forth. Once we pass laws and regulations, it's good we follow them up and then not introduce other laws that are coming to contradict and even to bring confusion within the industry. And I think it's not asking for too much to allow our own unions to trade. The coffee belongs to them. But we've known for many years, um, coffee was black gold here in Kenya. When I was being born and brought up, our children went to school because they had coffee. But nowadays, our parents have to rely on bursaries. I'm a member of parliament. Many children are not reporting to school now. But the coffee farmer does all the work. By the time he, they hand over the coffee to all these people who are cartels within the industry, they lose it there. The, our, our request, and I know this was the desire of the president, is to make sure that by the time we finish up with the Jubilee government, that we will leave our coffee um, farmers in safe hands, that they will enjoy, finally, the benefits of their labor. And we even want to encourage more of them. We know several of them are polluted coffee because there was nothing coming out of it. We also know that these people who are the marketers, they keep their money for a long time, they earn interest, and then they take all this money outside. So why don't we allow our own people to benefit from their own hard and, you know, work? And then they also money remains in Kenya.